programmatic navigation allows us to move from one view to another just using code, rather than waiting for the user to take some kind of action. For example, perhaps right now your app is processing some user data from earlier, and you want to move to a result screen when that work is finished. This means you want navigation to happen automatically when you say so, rather than waiting for a response from the user. In SwiftUI, this is done by binding the path of a navigation stack to an array of whatever data you're trying to navigate with. So we might start with this. First, a property to store the path we're working with our navigation. So I'll say at state private var path is an array of integers like that. And now in our body, when I make a navigation stack, I'm going to bind its path to dollar path to this path value up here. And then go on as normal. So I'll say, for example, let's do a, a V stack. I'll just put more code to come for now. And then I'll do a nav destination for int dot self. Destination will be give me the selection uh, text you selected selection. And this does two important things. First, we have this state property to store an array of integers. And then we bind that to navigation stack, meaning that changing the array will automatically navigate to whatever is used inside the array, it becomes the active live path for navigation. But also, if we change the UI, press like the back button, for example, it will update the array for us automatically. It's a two-way binding, dollar path. And so we could, for example, replace this more code to come comment with buttons. We could say, uh, button show the number 32. I'll say path equals array of 32. Or button show 64. I'll do path dot append 64. So the first example, we're setting the whole array to be the number 32. So if anything else happens to be in the path array, it'll be removed. So the nav stack goes back to its original state, original view, and then it'll navigate to number 32. If there's other one showing 64, we're appending it to the array. So whatever happens to be in there already is left there. We're going to do a new screen even deeper than that. So if we already had uh, other information in there, we'd now have extra views in the stack. So we have our original view, this uh, root view is usually called, then something to show number 64. Or we could say do 32, then 64, but it's, it's flexible, right? Okay, if you want to push multiple values, I could say uh, as a button, show 32, then 64. This will do a path equals to 32 comma 64. Change the whole array. Let's give that a try. I'll do 32. Boom, and now 64, and now 32, then 64. So you see 64, press back, 32, press back to the root. You can mix user navigation and programmatic navigation as much as you want. So if you will take care of making sure this path array stays in sync with your actual data no matter what you show, and regardless of how it's shown.